four, three, two, one, and go. Hi, the name of our program today is IRS will give you a paycheck. Disclaimer, the views of opinion expressed by the speaker do not necessarily reflect or represent the views held by the channel broadcaster. Please consult your accountant or financial advisor for more information. Hi, the name of the series today of our program is Business Blueprint Beacon. We're gonna show you simple and easy ways to make sure you put money in your pocket to know how to do your tax return and increase your bottom line. So today's topic is IRS secrets that will give you a paycheck. So here's what we always say about giving you a paycheck. See, there's a whole bunch of simple and easy ways you can start to use instantly to start saving money on your tax return. Did you know that on most businesses or families' budgets, this could be as much as 25% of your income, okay? To over almost 25% of your income. So for every dollar you save, you're gonna start putting more money in your pocket. And this is what we're here for, to make sure we put more money in your pocket that business owners um, can start using almost every day. In the midst of a global crisis, with billions of businesses shut down, stands one man who has the skills to save the field. He's on a mission to let businesses know how they grow. If you're a business owner, what does everybody want more than anything else? So I want everybody to say, cha-ching! He'll take on your taxes, increase your cash flow, and coach you to success. Try to make yourself look human. Once you start helping these people like that, you're going to give people experience. How the court is the tax man. In the midst of a global crisis. Why Albert Corey? Uh, my name is Albert Corey, and I've been in business for almost 40 years assisting over 25,000 business owners to save almost $60 million. But guess what? I didn't start out this way. You see, today I'm on national business stages, two Amazon bestsellers, and then been in business for almost 40 years. But I didn't start out this way. You see, when I was growing up, I was bullied and picked on. Heck, even my father didn't believe in me. That's why we started the Profit Acceleration System, which is part of the business blueprints, where I'm on a mission to make sure business owners start to put more money in their pockets, increase their bottom lines, so they can write the tickets of the dreams. Because when I started out in 1985, I had nobody to help me. I didn't know anything. So now I wanna make sure that business owners now have somebody they can turn to, to make sure they get your business going, profitable, so they can live their dream vacation, have their dream life. So one of the things you have to do when you're a business owner is make sure you do not use tax software. Do not use TurboTax. There's H&R Block software. There's plenty of softwares out there to do tax returns. I would recommend do not do it. One is, is because it's not gonna, you can't be able to ask questions. It's gonna probably take you a long time to do it. Um, one of the good stories I tell when I'm on stage talking to people is, is that if you have a heart attack, okay, you're not gonna go get a cable, cut it, put it in a wall, put it to your heart to save yourself. No, of course not. You're gonna call 911. Same thing with the tax return. You're an expert in your business. So I would tell you, stay in your lane. And I'll guarantee you the amount of money you pay to have somebody do it, you're gonna save time and money. And that's half the battle. 
You know, most business owners say they don't have enough time. Oh, well, here's one way you can start putting more money in your pocket and the IRS give you a paycheck. Accounting services. Make sure accounting service is the simplest and easy way to um, save money on your tax returns and put more money in your pocket because they're expert what they do. If you go to most companies who deal with small business, they've been doing it a long time. They know the deductions that you need to take to put money in your pocket. You know, they've been doing it for a long time. You know, that is their lane. So you wanna make sure that you call somebody else, but make sure you go to the right person. Um, here's some of the questions that you would ask them is how long you've been in business? Do you do the type of business I'm in? A good example is if you're a truck driver and you ask them, um, what's the rate, uh, how much it is if I sleep in my truck, what's the DLT rate? If they can answer that question, run. Right, another thing I will tell you to do is check out how the, who you're going to. So that if you go in a, inside somebody's house to do the return, I would tell you to run because they're, going, they're not gonna know what they're doing. They're in the business to make sure, okay, you get a big refund so that they pay you. So they're gonna get you a big refund and later you're gonna get an IRS letter. But guess what? When you, go, when you go knock on your door, they're not gonna be there. Or I've had that happen in my office plenty of times where you went and you know you're getting a refund and it's stuck, you don't know what's gonna happen. When you start going into people's houses that do it on their desktop at their house, they're not gonna be there. Second thing you gotta make sure is ask them how long they've been in business. All right, if you know if they've been in business for like 10 to 12 years, guess what? They're gonna be there to help you when you get the IRS letter. Coin Associates, we've been in business for almost 40 years. Okay, I make sure you get the biggest refund without getting an IRS letter. Two, make sure sometimes when you get that big refund, be careful, especially if you're a business startup and you go to the person and they do it wrong, guaranteed you're gonna get an IRS letter. If you have any questions or comments, you can always leave it below, or you can text TAXMAN at 26786 for a free consultation. We've been in business for almost 40 years and we'd like to answer all of your tax questions. Tax deductions. Tax deductions, and I missed that one. Tax deduction. Tax deductions are very simple, okay? If you got a business, small business startup, here's one thing that most people don't realize if you're a startup, that the government will pay you to open up the company. What does, what does that mean? Is as long as you're moving your business forward, okay, almost a lot of things are deduction within moderation. Meaning that if you're missing, moving your business forward, that your cell phone is deductible, your internet's deductible, tolls are deductible, any vacations that are moving your business forward. What does that mean? So I just went to Australia and while I was there, I showed my book around to people. Doesn't mean they have to buy it, but you could say I was on an Australian book tour. Now that would be a deduction. So once you start having, start thinking about a business, I always tell people that you should start opening up a corporation, right? And because once you open up a corporation, it's now deductible. Um, a lot of times if you're a startup, I would tell you don't, put it on a Schedule C. You know, a lot of these wannabe tax offices, what they do is you say, oh, I'm a realtor. And then they end up putting $60,000 deduction on a Schedule C, which is on your personal return. And there's a good chance you get an IRS letter. I've seen plenty of them and I made a whole lot of money fixing returns from old, you know, from other people's doing the return. Now, did you open your business correctly? There is five types of businesses to open up that right now we're gonna go the good, the bad, the ugly on every one. So now the first one is sole proprietor. The good thing is 
you can just say, hey, tomorrow I'm opening up a business, all right? And bam, you're open, okay? This is what usually happens when people are first starting out as realtors. This is usually what's happening when you start to sell stuff online. Those are the simple examples. So that's the good thing. Nothing to get started to start your business. Um, the bad thing is, is guess what? If something happens, everything goes back to you because you're not a company. They go, everything goes back to you. So make sure that's why the bad thing. Second thing is when you're sole proprietor, everything shows up on your purse return. Schedule, it's always used as schedule C. And people can write it off, but when you start doing personal returns, after me doing this for almost 40 years, 107,000 returns, IRS audit system is geared for personal returns because in my opinion, they can gear down and check certain lines on your tax return on Schedule C. Because probably some of the biggest mistakes I've seen is people, um, people don't know what they're doing, put like 70, 80,000 miles. Who drives 70, 80,000 miles a year? Even long haul truck drivers don't even do that. So now the second one I'm gonna talk about is an incorporation. You know, I see this all the time in my office where people think they can do it themselves. They just go on the state where you live in. Um, in Florida, it's called Sunbiz. Um, in every state, it's different. In future videos, we're gonna show you um, how to open up a corporation. It's very generic, how to do it, and we're gonna show you. So they think like in a case of Sunbiz, because we I live in Florida where this is being shot, you could just go on Sunbiz, pay the $75, and you're done. And guess what? A lot of people do that. And then they come to my office. One, they forget that, oh, you need to get an EIN number, it's an employee identification number. It's kind of like a social security number for your business. They didn't realize, they thought that you know, just by opening up on Sunbiz, you're done, you're wrong. Um, any questions on this, you can call our office or text taxman to 26786, free free consultation, or ask your financial advisors. So now the next one I'm gonna talk about is a sub S company. So to open up a sub S company is you open up an incorporation in your state, but then the kicker is, is, is that you know, you have to send in one paper to the IRS. That one paper is called a 2553. You sign, you send it in. In about three to four months, that it's gonna come back and guess what? You'll be incorporated, you're a sub S company. Now, what's the difference between a sub S company and an ink is you're now a full corporation. Okay, you only need a partnership only once, so you could do it yourself. Um, okay, you can do it yourself on an incorporation. If you have a loss, it doesn't go forward. On an incorporation, if it makes a profit, even if you make a dollar, you got to pay 25%. Doesn't matter. On a sub S company, the company doesn't pay any tax straight out. Company doesn't pay tax straight out. So the profit and loss transfers over to your personal tax return. It's kind of like saying you got interest in the bank or think of it this way, it's, um, it's called a K1. K1s are like dividends. So a good example of that is if you had shares in Walmart and you make a profit, then you're gonna get that sheet in a paper. Good thing about a sub S company is, is, is that the profits or losses can transfer directly to your tax return. The bad side is, is, is that you can only have partners up to 14 partners. You can't have any foreign investors in it. All right, you can't have any enforced investors. And it's really good only up to $249,000. But I'm, this is what I always recommend because when you're a startup, usually not making any money right away, so to me, is a, your startup, a sub S company is the best way to go. 
The other one is a limited liability partnership. Good thing is, once it's open, okay, you, it, you're a business wide open. Um, a business wide open, that's a good thing. It's good for if you have real estate, because most real estate I know in Florida that you're buying is usually over $250,000, which is the maximum you can have for a sub S company. The bad thing, the good thing is you have unlimited partners, unlimited income, you can have foreign investors. Um, the bad thing is, is most people open up LLCs, they don't know that you need partners. Okay, they don't know, so they come into my office or I open up an LLC because they read this on the internet. But as an LLC, if you don't have partners, it's not gonna be any good. The second thing is, is that LLC income, there again, if you're small, it doesn't work. Um, if you're an LLC and everything gets transferred over to your personal return schedule C, so if you start raking up a big loss, because you're starting to start your company and you're going on a lot of, uh, you know, just learning a lot and you start racking up some losses, it goes to your Schedule C unless you have partners. Please, a moment for our little, for our sponsors. In the midst of a global crisis with billions of businesses shutting down, stands one man who has the skills to save your bills. He's on a mission to let businesses know how they can grow. He'll take on your taxes, increase your cash flow, and coach you to success. Albert Poor is the tax man. Contact Albert, tax man Corey, for a free consultation today. In the middle. Oops. So, Raise your, if you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube, please put a comment below. Um, how many of you would like to know simple profit accelerators that they don't want you to know? I put a list of simple tax deductions and simple ways to make sure you pay less to the IRS and increase your bottom line. So if you want this free gift that could possibly save you hundreds and thousands of dollars over the course of your business life, you text TAXMAN to 26786. That's TAXMAN to 26786 that you get this free report. Now, another way to make sure that IRS will put money in your pocket to give you a paycheck is make sure you know the dates of filing. You know, I've been in business for almost 40 years and most people are getting really, really, really whacked and paying more to the government because they don't know the dates. Here's a good example of that. Corporations are due on March 15th unless you get an extension. Well, a lot of my clients who get into trouble, they did it themselves, all right? And they didn't know that the date was March 15th or you filed an extension. If you file an extension, then it doesn't matter um, when you come. You got till September 15th to do your taxes without no penalty. Uh, another big thing I see a lot is you don't come in. Um, you don't know the dates to pay your corporation. Uh, in Florida, it's you have to pay by April 28th. After that, um, you know, they're gonna charge a huge, which would be $150. They're now gonna charge you, they're now gonna charge you um, $450 because you didn't pay the date. Estimated payments that you don't pay on time, they charge you interest, quarterly payments. So bottom line is if you start knowing the dates, then you're gonna start putting money in your pocket. We talked about this a couple of seconds ago, file your tax returns on time. IRS has specific dates that things have to be in, and when you file on time, you're not giving them extra money to the government. And that's a big thing. Make sure IRS will give you a paycheck and you start saving money because you do everything on time and they're not gonna charge you any late fees. Now, if you wanna get a hold of me, is you can go on our social media, go to acorey.com, 
Um, we got a nice welcome video. You also got some free gifts. Um, Taxman, the 26786, my contact, everything Albert, you go to acorey.com. Now, as a special parting gift for everybody who's watching this video, whether it's on YouTube or in our class, should have said that. Uh, cut that when you're watching this video. Okay, if you go to free, if you if you call our office 305-823-9228, then you'll get a free consultation for 15 minutes. If you're in the Miami area, you can come into our office. We got a real office at 1800 West 68th Street, Suite 118, Hialeah, Florida, 33014. Uh, we have clients all over the country. We've been, we have clients in 40, the last, this past, we have clients in all 50 states and seven countries. So please give us a call and we will take care of you. Thank you and have a good day.